Hello, I'm Zed Survivor. One of the most known and needed skills in Zomboid is carpentry. We're going to talk about that today. As a skill, it helps you build more complex and stronger structures, furniture and decorations. The main items you will need for it are hammer, nails and planks. Hammer and nails are found in any industrial loot spawns and planks can be obtained from logs by sawing them. One log equals three planks. You can also find planks but that's really tedious because they're heavy and you usually need a lot of them. Leveling carpentry is simple as most skills. More you build, more XP you get. There's also a TV show in the early game every day at 12 o'clock, so don't miss it. To boost your XP gain, get books and read them. This is really recommended because later on you will require a lot more XP to level up. You will also receive XP by crafting items in the carpentry section, for example sawing logs and making spiked planks. You can also take carpentry from the character creation, but carpentry is one of the most easy skills to gain XP for, so it's not really necessary. I'm going to go through all of the blueprints of what you can build and what level you require for it. Remember this though, all of the structures and furnitures you can build will change looks and strength the more skill you have. Also for example wooden walls have three levels, to unlock a next level all you need is higher level of carpentry. First and most important thing you can do is barricade windows. You can do this at any level. This is the core of any carpenter and this is how most players get starting XP. Okay, now let's start with all of the blueprints. Wooden floor is a basic structure and requires level 1. It is also a neat way of getting XP because you can stack multiple floors on one another. Its only use is not looking at grass and building it on the second stories. Walls are made by first constructing a wall frame and then right clicking and building the actual wall. Quality of it depends of your carpentry level. For the frame and the level 1 wall you will require level 2 of carpentry. Wooden pillars are currently pretty useless, I don't even know why you would want it, but you require level 2 to waste your materials, I mean to build, to, to build the wooden pillar. There are two door types currently. The regular door requires carpentry 3 to be made and also a door frame, which needs carpentry 2 to be made. You will also need two door hinges and a doorknob. The other door type is the double door. This is used for cars and it requires level 6 of carpentry. It needs four door hinges and two doorknobs. Stairs are one of the most complex structures and require level 6. They need a lot of materials, but for all structures made by carpentry panel, you don't actually need the materials to be in your inventory, they can be on the ground. A bonus floor will be constructed at the top of the stairs, so you don't fall off when you go up. A wooden crate is a basic storage blueprint and it requires level 3 to be constructed. It has a space of 50 slots. You can also construct bar elements for your kitchen or whatever. They do require level 7, which is the highest of all blueprints. I would advise to just get crates, because the bar elements also have 50 slots. But, if you really want that kitchen, then better start grinding. In the furniture panel, you can build tables, chairs, bookcases, shelves, but the most important survival blueprints are rain collector barrels and composters. There are two different rain collectors, the first one requires only level 4, but the better one requires level 7. For both of them, you will need to find 4 garbage bags. And for the composter, you will need level 2, it is advised to build a few of them for all your rotten fruit and vegetables. In fences, you can build a regular wooden fence with level 2, you can also build wooden stakes and barbed wire, but that requires level 5. Other than that, you can build sandbag and gravel bag walls. The miscellaneous stuff you can build are kirons, wooden crosses, wooden pickets, wooden signs that require level 1, and lamp on pillar which needs level 4. You can also build sheet ropes by right clicking on windows and adding them. You will require one sheet rope per floor, so if you want a sheet rope exit on a second story house, you will need two sheet ropes. Okay, now we're done with the blueprints, so let's talk about something called disassembly and why it's the way to go. You can disassemble most wooden furniture and structures like fences that gives tons of XP and materials. For some of them you only require a hammer but most also require a saw. This is a perfect way of getting materials and XP in the early game and you can just make a base right away. How do some people have a base in day one? Just use my foraging guide to find yourself a stone and a tree branch. Make a stone hammer and disassemble all the beds you find. 
you will receive nails and planks, then just barricade all your windows. You might not receive a lot if you don't have any carpentry skill, but after a few master beds, you will definitely be able to get enough planks and nails to barricade a small house. If you do find a saw, this will be even easier because you will be able to disassemble every carpentry object. Don't forget to not disassemble everything in the building you wish to set up, use other houses for materials. But be careful while you're doing it, because it's a long process and zombies could sneak up on you. If you cancel the action, you will have to do it all over again. And now it's time for the tip of the video. You can use a sledgehammer to destroy almost every object in the game. This includes stairs, walls, furniture, even roofs. You can use the sledgehammer to get in the gun shop in West Point and to destroy stairs to build an impenetrable sheet rope base in two-story buildings. Thank you for staying until the end. As always, hope you learned something new. Type in the comments on what you want to see next. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your support. I will see you all in my next video.